the Shannon. Beautiful, serene, is Ireland's biggest river. Walking along its banks is a wonderful way to start the Hymeny Way. The seventh stage of the Ireland Way. I was incredibly lucky to be taken into Lynch's farmhouse while Josephine took fantastic care of me. I got into the woods and it was kind of drizzly and raining and as I'm walking through this 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 mass of wood the the sun's coming out going back in coming going out and every time it does it changes slightly you've gone from this really dark wood that looks impenetrable to this the sun shining through and the rays just looking absolutely stunning really enjoying this part of it actually and um, getting my enjoyment back and these mushrooms, the mushrooms I'm finding in this forest are just absolutely stunning. I got an absolutely lovely call, a woman called Lucy who um, has been following the progress and actually is willing to put me up for the night. It's a bit sad to see really. Really, really enjoying that uh, walk down the bog embankment and the next thing there's just dumps everywhere, illegal dumping. I don't know if he's abandoned, but like, right beside a bloody dump. Ring Animal Welfare, ASPCC, I think they're called, um, and I uh, just maybe reported in, called it in, uh, rope, rope around his neck. Um, yeah, that's kind of soured the mood now. Lucy and Paul took me in yesterday. He's smiling, Paul. <laughs> of course <laughs> Absolutely amazing, lovely couple. Uh, they, they took care of me, let me bathe my feet, uh, and Lucy dropped me off at Little. Um, where I got some free stuff, some free supplies from the guys. So grateful to them. On a bit of a serious note, I did ring uh, the Galway, uh, Galway ISPCA, or the ISPCA and um, they're sending someone out to have a look at that horse. But, uh, we, I hope hope things are all right there. Time to march to Ockram and uh, see how it goes. <laughs> Reaching Ockram, I stopped into Valerie's. Leaving there, however, things started to turn for the worst. My morale is totally gone. Um, I probably shouldn't have left Ockram. Um, as soon as I started getting out of there, something wasn't right. I don't know. I just physically, I'm fine. A bit tired, as, as you would be when you're walking like I am. But my morale is just—it's shot. It's gone. Um, the only thing that's getting me through is grit and determination. Um, I just stopped here, sat down for to get some Vaseline on my feet and just a quick bite to eat and I'm going to keep marching um, to Ascara or however they pronounce it. Um, but yeah, uh, 
I'll keep I'll keep going, I'll keep moving, but <sighs> I don't know, I don't know where the morale's gone, I just just don't know. Just don't know. But okay, I'll, I'll 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 keep fighting. I'll keep fighting. So I made it to Asker last night, I uh, don't know what happened last night, I feel a bit better today, so short journey to Ballygar, so uh, let's be having it, let's do it. I'm not really sure what this is, but uh, I seem to have come on uh, an odd collection of uh, uh, old farm stuff, flowers and I don't really know what this is dedicated to. Definitely a strange one. Finishing up the Hayman way in Ballygar, I was able to rest and refuel. <laughs>